Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now in today's video, we are bringing it back to basics with Baked Beans, which was one of the first DeFi projects that got a lot of people into the world of DeFi back when they had their version one contract, which eventually done its thing. It had its time and then the contract drained, which is how these Baked Beans projects and forks work. Um, but they did go ahead and release a V2. The V1 lasted for around a year, I think, maybe six months with good yield. Um, and then it just kind of played out and, and died off in the end. So uh, like all these um, uh, baked beans forks and the original baked beans are designed to do, right? But before we get into the video, if you could please hit the like button, subscribe down below if you're wanting one, turn the notifications on so you don't miss a future video. Make sure to go and follow me over on Twitter. There's a link in the description or at jpkdefi. There's also a link in the description to the premium Discord server if that is something you're interested in. And also, also down below, there is a link to my email newsletter. Uh, if you subscribe to the email newsletter, you'll be entered in the giveaway that I do every single month on that email newsletter. I give away $100 to one person every single month. So to enter that, you just have to join the newsletter down below and you're entered. Well, that being said, let's go ahead and go over Bait Beans. Now, before we do that, I do want to mention that this is a casino play. Okay, A lot of these DGEN DeFi plays that I go over, other than you know the safe yield where you're staking blue chip assets on something like a centralized exchange or Lyra Finance or something, okay, these DGEN plays are a lot different. These DGEN plays should be treated with money you should only that you should go to the casino with. Only with money that you go to the casino with. These are online, uh, unregulated casinos, okay, and we are trying to beat the game with them. Uh, it's always DeFi has been, and it's always the way that DeFi will be. So keep that in mind, okay? Super risky stuff. If you don't like going to the casino, you don't like gambling, DeFi isn't for you. So I just want to mention that. But with that being said, let's jump into Baked Beans. Now, I just want to preface that I don't have any money in Baked Beans. I wanted to give an update here and also show you guys what is going on, okay? With also a new pretty cool thing um, that, that has just come out for Baked Beans, which I'm going to show you in this video. So with that being said, smash the like, subscribe, and let's jump into it. So Baked Beans 2.0 is a locked BNB static reward pool returning up to 6% daily. Now I'm going to explain how this works because 6% daily is, of course, unsustainable long term, as we all know. Um, it's up to 6%, and I'm going to explain how that works in a bit. So the contract balance is over 4,300 BNB in there. You can see your BNB invested and your manual deposit there. And you can see the beans you have, which is essentially the amount of uh, BNB you have. So it works on their bean token, right? So essentially you would go ahead and um, and deposit into here if you wanted to join it. Again, there, there will be a link in the description. It won't be a referral link. It will just be a direct link if, if you wanted to go into it. But again, Super DGEM project with Bait Beans has been around for a very long time. Um, okay, so you can see the contract balance here. You can see your BNB. So you'd go ahead and buy beans with BNB. So you put the amount of BNB you want to jump in with, which minimum 0 0.01 and maximum 200. You go ahead and buy the beans, and then every single day you get rewards back in BNB. You can either rebake, which is essentially reinvesting or compounding, and then eating, which is claiming and taking that BNB to your wallet. Now, with baked beans, which will cover, I think they state it on the website or maybe in the white paper. You have to follow a strategy of nine days of compounding and one day of withdrawing. That is how the 6% daily is paid because, again, you're not actually claiming 6% a day. You need to go ahead and rebake for nine days a week, uh, sorry, nine days at a time, and then eat or claim one day at a time. So for nine days, you compound, and then on the 10th day, you go ahead and claim. Okay, so you can see the daily APRs are between 3 and 6%, and that works based on that compound. Again, you don't have to do the 9 to 1 if you don't want, but that is how they suggest doing it to get those rewards, the maximum rewards there. So Baby 2.0 is a static BNB rewards pool. The daily percentage varies depending upon your bait and buddies referred, as outlined within the white paper. Referral codes only valid, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the has been tax is implemented to have a positive impact on the t lock TVL and community giveaways, giving bait beans a mechanically sound contract. The referral bonus is 5%, uh, and 5%. So, and you can see all the links below, right? You've got the, they're on Discord, they're on uh, Telegram. You can see their white paper there. Twitter, you can see their contract, Instagram. That even on, I think this is Medium, I can't remember. YouTube, Facebook, Reddit, and TikToks. So they're pretty much everywhere. Okay, on Telegram, they have about 1,300 members. Uh, you can see their white paper. Uh, I was just in their social media links here, but you can go ahead and take a look at their white paper if you like. If you don't know how Bait Beans works, uh, then you can go ahead and take a look at this. Um, but essentially, yeah, it just gives you the information about Bait Beans. And it gives you a it gives you a difference in what the difference between version one and version two is. 
okay? They've got a giveaway wallet, they do giveaways, they've got external revenue there. Bait Beans 2.0 team, you can see the team and the social media links, okay? So, if we go over to uh, their contract, um, if we give this a refresh, you can see that there is 4,300 BNB in here, $1.3 million. So if we go and take a look at the contract here, uh, sorry, the trans, I think it's under analytics, here we go. Uh, you can kind of see the BNB balance and how it's uh, grown. So we can see that they did launch on December 29th. Um, yeah, they got 300K in the first day because again, this is baked beans, right? They had a good reputation. They've never rugged and they are still around today. Uh, you can see they did peak around 4.6K uh, BNB or 1.4 million. Leveled off a bit. And then of course, they've kind of stabled since around then sitting nicely at 1.3. Now with Bay Beans, um, with these ROI dApps, you don't really want to see massive whales coming in out of the contract. You want to see it kind of stay steady. Um, as long as there's money in this contract, of course, it will continue to play because again, this is a casino play, right? So as long as there's money in the contract for the for these casino plays, you'll be able to claim your money on the dApp. So keep that in mind. But yeah, 1.3 million. And again, we kind of want to see, in my opinion anyway, for these Bait Beans forks or Bait Beans alone, is in these ROI dApps, you want to see the contract balance being stable. You don't want to see massive peaks and valleys, um, in my opinion, anyway. And then also one thing I wanted to mention and go over is the new Dune Analytics. So if you don't know about Dune Analytics, I highly recommend using it. It's a good tool. You can search for any protocol and it'll give you the information on it. So we give this a refresh here. I think this was only created two days ago by a community member. But you see total deposits, total withdrawn, the withdraw to deposit ratio, contract balance, the active wallets, and the days since launch, they've been out for 30 days. Okay, that's quite, uh, that's not as long as I thought. I thought the new version was out for a, a longer than that, but fair enough. And you can see the amount of wallets created today. Uh, not too many new wallets are created, but it's still coming in, which is good to see. You can see the contract balance on here, as well as obviously on, um, on the contract address directly. So that's pretty cool. You can see the daily deposits. You can see the daily withdrawals total deposits, total withdrawals, and the contract balance there. And you can see uh, the um, contract balance analytics. You can see the latest deposits. You can see the latest withdrawals and all that good stuff. Uh, if we scroll down, you can see wallet analysis, which holds the amount of deposits in Bait Beans there. And you can see the different wallets that have stakes in, in there as well. Uh, wallet ROI histogram, which is nice to see. And wallet ROI, which is pretty cool. Okay, um, so there you go, pretty simple dashboard. I mean, it looks a bit confusing, but everything is here that you need to know. Um, I like Juno Analytics. It kind of just gives you a lot of uh, information on a protocol, the backend stuff. You can search for pretty much any project um, and someone probably would have made a Juno Analytics dashboard for it. Um, it's pretty technical to set up in the backend. I think a lot of community members do it for most projects, but you can come in and, and see the different statistics of different projects. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, on Twitter, they only have about 648 followers. But again, Bait Beans is well known. Um, so I don't think many people really look at their social media. To be honest, Bait Beans is a kind of a different project to what we're used to seeing uh, because they're proven, right? They've been around for a very long time, um, just over a year now with the new project coming out. So, uh, well, the last one lasted a year and they restarted a new contract because the old one kind of ended. It had its time. Um, you know, it didn't rug, it just kind of, the contract balance just drained in the end and everyone pulled out their money, which is just how these contracts work. So with baked beans and stuff like this, the earlier you get in, the better it is. Of course, again, super DGM play, but in my opinion, uh, again, super risky, you could lose your money. Of course you can, this is DeFi. Um, but the earlier you get in, the better, because the last one lasted a year, real yield for about six months. And when I say real yield, I mean actual real daily returns. Um, that made it profitable for about six months. And then it's the contract balance started to decline for the next six months. Um, and then it kind of ran out. So because again, that was during the bull market, people would have probably got bored and wanted to go to other projects, I'm guessing, uh, why it drained. So this is Baked Beans. There's an update. That's what I wanted to show you with the June analytics, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know if there's any other projects that are out there right now that you want me to look into. There are a couple of different style of projects looking into more of the bots, PAM accounts, and the Forex stuff that I've gone into over the last few days. So I may make some videos on that. Again, it's not really DeFi stuff. It's mainly Forex stuff, just using uh, crypto to deposit and using some of these PAM accounts, um, which is profit. 
profit. I, I can't remember what PAM stands for now. Um, but essentially, you, you're essentially putting crypto into a trading firm. Um, they then go ahead and trade and they take a percentage at the end of the week of the profit. So went into FX Master Gold. You may ring a bell for some of you. And today was the first day they traded since I jumped in because obviously it's Chinese New Year. Um, so they haven't been trading over the last few days because they only trade gold, uh, hence the name. Um, and uh, yeah, today's the first day they traded again after Chinese New Year. Made about 3% today, which was pretty nice. Put a thousand bucks in, so made just under um, t uh, 30 bucks. So I made double my investment in there this week. I don't really know. Haven't really planned it out just yet. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Ch take a look at the links in the description. There's also a link to a free Discord server down there. If you need a Ledger wallet as well to protect your crypto, there is an affiliate link down below. Um, it's to the official Ledger site doesn't cost you any more. I get a bit of a kickback for the ledger. Um, but yeah, I have like three of them um, and they protect the crypto. So if you don't have a ledger yet and you're, you've got some crypto in wallets or you're looking somewhere safe to store that crypto, uh, ledger is the best play in my opinion. Not just because I have an affiliate link, but I've tried so many different hardware wallets and ledger is the best, smoothest one in my opinion and personal usage. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.